What a good internet, my name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to my Let's Play of WWE 2K18, my career mode, perhaps the final episode of this show, we shall see, it is time to go into the ring for another promo, and gloat about my victory in becoming the champion at WrestleMania, etc, etc, hey Bo, got anything different to say? No, of course you don't. Of course you don't. Not even a simple c congratulations for your boy, Attack Slug. Anyway, let's talk to Todd one more time. Oh, the swagger. Mmm, love it. Time for a true victory speech, my friend. What do you say? Once more for old time's sake. Better believe it. About time to take a look back at our accomplishments before looking forward. No doubt. So he asked his friend pointedly, What do you see when you look back at absolutely everything you've been through in the WWE? Really? That smacky dabby though? No. Never, Todd. Never. What do I see? Power, challenges, and triumphs. Just like life, ain't it? Well, guess this is it. Guess it is. Ready? I'm ready. As always, this is your moment champ give them something to remember welcome your new champion and the greatest faction in the history of the wwe my friends let's get one thing clear before i say anything further this championship will be mine for a long time to come considering how many struggles i had to break through in order to get it etc etc henceforth i think you could admit that i pretty much am the show at this point Everything has revolved around me for so, for so long, it's hard to imagine it being any other way. I know that sounds egocentric, but I'm being real with you. I've been drawing forces like gravity and a vortex and something. Basically, my reign is going to show you and everyone watching the nature of a real champion. You've had a pretender to the throne masquerading in front of you for so long, I fear you've forgotten what a champion truly is. If you'd like a preview, think about everything I have accomplished here and multiply it by a factor of 11. You can't always predict when life has inexorably changed, when there's this unheard click that triggers the permanent shift of present to past. That's happening now. The whole business is entering into a new age. I call it the age of factions, but I don't know what historians will truly call it. All I can do is wait and embrace it. Or all they can do is wait and embrace it. Universe! I am the paragon of domination. Through my awesome prowess, I was able to tear through all of the strongest challengers this business had to offer. But in the end, no superstar was able to resist me. Here I stand, a product of my training and my will to succeed. No one can surpass me ever again. Baby. What are you even saying? What? He's still talking. He won't stop cutting promos. It's never going to end. Mic drop. There's the belt. Finally. Finally, there's the belt. It's about freaking time to have the belt in the cutscene. champion deserves to celebrate. Yeah, this is the kind of those moments. This is the moment that you don't forget for the rest of your life. A hard-fought victory, and you get to celebrate it with each and every fan inside this arena. Shut up, Byron. Champion. Shut up, Byron. Yeah. You see all the adulation, all the support from the WWE Universe. A couple selfies in there. Celebrate, champ. Shut up, Byron. You deserve it. I hate him so much. Uh, why would I celebrate with, with, with the crowd when I've been a company man and not a fan favorite this entire time? I'm assuming that cutscene is the same for everybody, but what do I know? Well there, game. Well said, champ. Ending things on a high note. Wouldn't have it any other way. From here on out, you're officially our guy. The company is being built around you as our cornerstone. That'll come with some perks. If you do a good job. And I'm sure you will, man. It's fine. Until then, keep it up, champ. I'm sure you totally won't get suspended for wellness like Roman did when he was uh, being... Pushed as the face of the company. Anyway, I got a trophy. Oh, God! The inside of his mouth. thats I don't want to see that. Come on, video game. Don't do that to me. Stop. Stop. Hey, Trips. And then he's mad at me. And he's mad, immediately 
mad at me. You can't even have him have a line that says, hey, congrats, see you later. Nothing, no, just back to the same generic nonsense dialogue they've done with this entire freaking my career mode. Anyway, I do want to see what the day after looks like. Uh, I don't think they're going to play any credits, but they might. It would be unusual if they didn't. But hey, what do I know? Uh, no interest in seeing Enzo. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna go talk to Braun and then head to uh, the next day and then that stuff. So, in terms of this show, in terms of this time slot, my current plan is, number one, I want to do a post-mortem on all the things that I liked and didn't like in this My Career. Kind of breaking down it piece by piece. What you said made me tear up a little. Caught the spirit of Dusty in your words. That's not in your character, Braun. You wouldn't say that, Braun. You wouldn't tear up. You're Braun Strowman. You're a monster. Keep the... That's more like Braun Strowman. Keep walking. Uh, yeah, so I definitely want to do a post-mortem on this whole my career and uh, how it's changed from last year and what they did right and wrong. And then after that post-mortem, then... Oh, hey, Brock Lesnar, on your cell phone. That's still really funny to me, considering in real life, Brock Lesnar doesn't have a phone. Like, go look up the interviews. He has a farm in Canada, and there's no phone there. No TV there. Nothing. So, Brock holding a cell phone, that's not canon. That's not how these things work. That's the speech we want from a victor. Keep getting better in the ring, and maybe I can be in your corner, be your advocate, or you can be in mine. I'll keep that in mind, Mr. Flesner. So after uh, the post-mortem, I do want to get into a different game in this 5 p.m. slot and I know a lot of folks are going immediately from this my career into universe because that has more cutscenes and more options and that kind of thing but if I'm going to do universe I want to do it uh completely off the wall and that takes time to prepare so in the meantime uh perhaps uh some different video game wrestling in this 5 p.m. slot but even that has to get prepared first and I haven't even had a chance to do that yet I've been so freaking busy uh with this whole car business and everything else this past week and a half has been a bit ridiculous. Um, company Man, level 5. What does that get me? Corporate threads. The Kane pack. The Vince pack. The Orton pack. The Shane pack. The William Regal pack. The Joe pack. And the Triple H pack. Okay. I unlock more clothes. Can interrupt promos at level 6. I can have access to all the corporate managers. I can change my, my match type at level 8. I can have a mid-match run-in where your tag partner or stable mate hits a finisher on your opponent. That's pretty cool. At level 10, you can earn double VC for matches and also request title matches from Vince's office. Vince is never there, so that's kind of freaking useless, to be honest. Samoa Joe, do you want a rematch? I'm pretty sure you're owed one. Wow, what luck. I was hoping to run into you tonight. Really? Why is that? Because I've grown quite tired of you, and I've decided that I'm going to do something about it. Well, that's interesting. And what is it that you're going to do? Easy. I'm going to kick your ass at payback, provided you accept the challenge. Of course. Nope. Sorry, Joe. Nah, nah. I have bigger plans for payback than settling for a match with you. Or maybe you realize how badly the night would go for you. I just beat you, Joe. I just beat you. Such mean words. But you're still not going to get what you want. You might get what you need. We have Renee Young hanging out here, and that's fine. Uh, I kind of have no interest in that at the moment. But we also have R-Truth hanging out. I'm assuming that if I go, hey, I'm going to SmackDown, that would totally vacate my title, because that's kind of how it th that stuff would work, more or less. That's how a video game would... Whoa! What's The Rock doing here? Why, Why is the Great One hanging out in Vince's office. I haven't seen you since the since the performance center, Rock. What is going on? Brother, let me holler at you for a minute. Are you t are you too long? What's going on here? A couple of months ago, The Rock was in The Iron Paradise, clanging and banging as only The Rock can when he spotted an unknown young cat on The Rock's 4K Ultra HD TV that exuded a level of swag and charisma that came close to rivaling The Rock's own. That young cat was you. You had the potential to be something great in this business. But you're not there yet. You've got a presence and an undeniable sense of charisma. But The Rock wants to know. The Rock needs to know if you have what it takes to entertain and electrify the millions and millions when you set foot between those ropes. Absolutely. There's a hell of a lot more to me than what you see on the surface. Ha ha! I love the confidence. 
It reminds me of The Rock's own. Let's put that confidence into action, jabroni. Think you have what it takes to maintain a four-star match for the next three weeks of TV? Uh, hell yeah, I do. Hell yeah, I do. I had a feeling you wouldn't disappoint The Rock. Okay, that's not gonna happen, because I'm not gonna be playing anymore this game on my career mode. So, thanks, Rock. Rocky, Rocky. And I can immediately say, you know what? I'm gonna go SmackDown. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Anyway, uh, yeah, Vince, I think we are done here. I think we are done playing uh, this year's My Career Mode in under 60 episodes. Which, compared to last year, is like lightning. Compared to the year before, is like lightning. It's insane. Um, but, again, I complained, or I've been complaining quite a bit, that they're just too long and too pointless. And give me something shorter, and I, en I would enjoy it more. And that basically is what happened here, is that, yes, I enjoyed this more than last year's and the year before, because it wasn't so freaking long. It didn't take me, you know, over 100 episodes to do anything uh, of any real significance and whatnot. Steph, I've heard some rumblings that you want to go for a different title. Is that true? Which one is it? Uh, I'm already the Universal Champion, so yeah, I'm going to pick it again. I want to make a run for that Universal Championship. You do know that you'll be competing with the best of the best. I hope you're ready for that. I'm already champion, Steph. I am. As far as I'm concerned, this is my time. Okay, consider it done. Consider it done. I'm going to fight myself. Am I not champion anymore? What's going on here? No, I'm champion. Then why would Steph say, oh yeah, go fight yourself for the championship? That, again, I'll get into a lot of the stuff. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. At what point is the ends of my rival? When did that happen? That will definitely be part of my discussion on this post-mortem on how just broken everything is. But I'm not going to talk to Todd. It's not going to happen. We're done here. No credits, no no fanfare. We're just done here with my career. So hopefully tomorrow I will crack into that post-mortem on uh, how I felt it overall about this My Career Mode. And then, hopefully the day after that, then I will get into uh, something else, something different in this 5 p.m. slot. So stay tuned for that. I'm Attack Slug. More videos every day. Seriously, every day. I'll see you next time, right here on this channel. And I'm out.